Hey, and welcome back to MCAT Sports. Big Sky High School leads 39 to Hellgate 0 in the second half of the crosstown rival between the two high schools. Um, Hellgate, uh, b starting their uh, uh, varsity game last year, they didn't have a varsity team, so this year they're uh, doing a varsity game. And they've been holding up pretty well, but unfortunately uh, Big Sky has been able to uh, find those pockets and just push right through them. And uh, uh, running tech is Jack Catmull, who just scoffed at the <laughs> idea of that. <laughs> so um, right now our crew is Austin uh, Guzier. Guzzi. Guzzi. Sorry. Uh, like Gozier. No. Just <laughs> uh, Austin Guzzi, who is running camera three. He's the right camera. Um, in the middle is um, Neil Wells, who is previously running switcher. He did a great job. And now he's um, – Hopefully not getting too cold out there. Um, and then running um, camera one is uh, Ro Rowan Lemus, who um, I got to say is definitely a rock star for helping out. He helped out last minute uh, um, just uh, at the very first game um, of, of the football season and just, just rocked it ever since, and he's been doing good. He just kind of like uh, – he was just happened to be there. He's like, hey, you want to work? I was like, oh, okay. And then he just – yeah, you know, he he just happened to show up at MCAT one day, and I'm just like, I know Save you well enough. <laughs> and all these kids, I have known like, um, besides Jack, I've uh, I've known all these kids since they were 11 years old. It's amazing yeah. the community that MCAT's been building. You guys have a really neat, I don't know, just kind of group of friends that know how to just you like know. talk about movies and just hang out. Yeah, like, you know. when you need to get things done, yeah. you can get them done, and um, and it, you build all these skills just yeah. almost as a secondary thing. It's like you go for the community and then all of a sudden you know how to do all these things. Yeah. And all of these kids already come in uh, already knowing what they want to do. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, here, I'll help you with what you need to do. It's like, oh, here, let me throw a couple of my ideas in here and just kind of make something with them rather than them just expecting them to make something for themselves. So sometimes when you make something with them, it becomes a more of a our thing rather than it just a, a me and you kind of thing. So that's kind of what I did for a lot of these kids the last couple of years, especially with a lot of summer camps and whatnot like that. So and now a lot of them are really uh, pulling it together and helping out with uh, the uh, 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 just a lot of MCAT related things, including the sports. Um, this used to be a, like a Sentinel uh, thing, but our whole crew is um, comprised of Hellgate High School students. Look at this. And speaking of Hellgate, we just got a kick. and um, That was number 19, Big Sky Return. Um, that was Fred Everett. He is a sophomore, 6'4", 176 pounds. Sophomore, 6'4". Man, he is going to kill it in the <laughs> next couple of years. Um, if he doesn't decide to be like, oh, you know what? I don't want to play football. I'm going to be an artist. <laughs> true. <laughs> but true. you never know. Yeah. But definitely some big players for Big Sky, for sure. Yeah, I almost just want to go down to the field and walk around and see if I feel like I'm surrounded by trees. <laughs> and it looks from their roster, I can see about three or four six foot four players for Big Sky. Um, Hellgate on the other side has. Um, has probably let's see, six foot four, hmm, six two. Well, they only, it only seems like their tallest player for um, Hellgate's football is um, Cade Lunday, thirteen, senior for uh, Hellgate High School, the Golden Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice throw by Big Sky. Oh, nice carry. Wow. wow that Pop was a good yard. Jump right mm -hmm. there. Looks like they gained about 23 yards, I believe. First down, Big Sky. Well, I was joking with Scott during the break <laughs> that he better be careful because some of this crew um, that they've been working together and learning all the tricks of the trade and you know neil and and jack they might just plan a coup one of these days on scott well i've been telling <laughs> neil as soon as he got his driver's license he's 18 hellgate grad alum and he needs to get a license <laughs> once he get a license <laughs> boom it's like here's the here's the keys to the kingdom take it it's and <laughs> take all the kids and do it all i mean i'm gonna oversee and make sure everything is all planned out but the whole idea is having them to come out and do these things That's and it cool. gives a little more uh, approach on them Make it sure it all works. I mean, I'd I'd be here and kind of overseeing some things here and there, kind of like what I'm doing right, kind of like right now. But 
Mm -hmm. I'm kind of just filling in the gaps that are kind of left empty. Um, our commentator, Cole Johnson, um, um, is going to be joining us next Friday for the football game. I don't know what game that is, but he'll be joining us that week as well. Um, and we'll see. That's awesome. Other than that, I'll be doing it until <laughs> somebody replaces me. Well, you know what? John Wright <laughs> is going to be really excited for you to just keep going with this commentator business. Who's John Wright? The one who's oh, been John the Wright. best oh. announcer oh, yes. ever. The, the, oh, yeah. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> the one you're framing the comment of oh, yeah, in your yeah, room. In my room. <laughs> well, my, maybe my living room because my living room, so everyone can see it. In my, oh, in my yeah, bedroom, yeah. is like no, no one's going to see my bedroom. Could you just put one in every room? <laughs> just like one in every room. <laughs> it's like I need positive. I need positivity coming my way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so where are we at here? I have no idea. I'm not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> Big Sky <laughs> is destroying Hellgate, 39 to zero. Um, Hellgate is showing some pushback, but Hellgate's got to like watch those uh, really um, um, big runs. Mm. Big Sky has wheels, and as soon as they get a good footing, boom. They're out. Yeah, a couple strong plays by Hellgate coming into this, though. Mm -hmm. So I know I keep just trying to, yeah. you know. I mean, I definitely, I mean, like, um, I think at this point, Hellgate just says, okay, let's see. Let's take it one point at a time. I mean, you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to win the game just like that. You can't wave a magic wand and just be like, great at this. Everything in life, you just have to take baby steps. You have to be like, okay, if I can just get one point, if I can get, okay, now if I can only get two points and then work your way up from there and just seeing how you can improve because that's the only way you can improve. Is you can't just be amazed at everything just all at once. True. And Hellgate's, um, I mean, even from a lot of the crew uh, that I've talked to, are are very uh, uh, as you heard from um, Jack Scoff earlier in the second half about Hellgate's football team, but a lot of times it's just like it's all in the mind, in the body, and just trying to um, kind of have those two balance each other out very um, effectively. Okay. Nice throw. Oh, oh, it is a interception by Hellgate. Nice oh. carry. <laughs> wow. That's definitely something that Hellgate needed to do. And that was, um, looks like that was, was that number 13 or 17 who got I, that one? I saw 13 or 15. I'm not sure. Let's see. It's tricky from that distance. Oh, it looks like it was 17. Um, <laughs> Gage Heron. That was an awesome surprise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. And this is something that Hellgate can definitely um, get is a, little, a lot of the unexpected. I think uh, Big Sky is feeling like, hey, just uh, keep up the good work. You know, we've been doing so great this whole game. Don't worry about Hellgate. And that's something that Hellgate has to take advantage of. Yeah, if they're keep really them gonna on their toes. And honestly, as a spectator, you just – I'm one of those people that just never gives up, you know? Like, I just, till the very end, I'm kind of that, that wishful yeah. wishful person that, you know, whether I'm I'm rooting for the team or not, um, there's a part of me that just kind of wonders, oh, what, what could happen? Yeah, and, and especially in high school, like, in life and in general, a lot of things you can learn about this is, like, it's, like, your like your very beginnings of just like every little thing like relationships um teamwork friendships and all that stuff like high school is all a big deal for a lot of these kids oh and it's a big learning experience it's like the idea is it's like a lot of people in their life especially will deal with the rejection in some form or some way and it's all about just uh, finding that one little uh, ground just to move forward even if it's just a baby step it's not always about um being able to win the first time Oh, absolutely. And you're right. This is such an intense phase of, of life for everyone. So, you know, whether it's what they're going through academically with, you know, playing football in their, you know, personal lives or family lives, there's always so many things you're juggling at such a young age um, and changing so fast. So it's it's really awesome to see, like, you know, kids like this, like taking on all of that. But I think you're right. I think at this age, too, um, it is important to keep that in perspective that, you know, whether you win this game or whether, you know, you ace a test. Right. That it really is about just continuing mm -hmm. to 
to keep going after what you love. Yeah, a lot of times you can learn a lot through failure, but you have to um, recognize it first and foremost. Mm, definitely. Because if you just like, eh, if you just like shrug it off, you can't, you know, like then it's just basically you're just going to repeat the same thing over and over again. Yeah, and I think as long as you're doing what you love, that's the important part, not yeah. doing it for any other reason. And I definitely see that, like, the Hellgate uh, uh, football team, I, I've definitely seen a lot of growth even in within this game as well. Like, a lot of them are moving it. A lot of them are getting some good plays in. A lot of them are moving it forward. Um, I know their score can be very intimidating for sure, but I can really feel as though that Hellgate has a lot more to learn from this game than Big Sky does. Hmm. Nice handoff to number 43. Nice carry. About a six, seven yard. Ooh, wow. Nice roll on that one. That was Luke Wilson for uh, Hellgate Knights. Six foot three, 185 pounds. Nice little handoff by Gage. It looks like it was a first down, Hellgate. Yep, move the chains. Pushing forward. Ooh, nice big throw. Just wasn't fast enough to get there. Oh, look at that. The Big Sky cheerleaders have arrived. and Oh, they've been there. They have? Yeah, I, d I didn't they, see them. Yeah, they were kind of huddled up around the uh, mascot for a bit of the, of the time. But I'm, I'm hearing them a lot now. Uh, I don't see the uh, – the, it looks like the Hellgate band left <laughs> after the Severs. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I don't mean to make fun, but they, they, they're gone. <laughs> there's a lot of spirit going on. Oh, though. there's a player down. Big Sky. Ooh, that's number five. David Gibson. Yeah, six foot one, 151 pounds. He's definitely one of the lighter players on their team. Looks like we've gotten up on his. Yeah, let's give it up for David Gibson. Senior, six foot one, one hundred fifty two pounds. Definitely a great player for Big Sky. Those moments are always scary. Yeah. But it's good. Hopefully this will be the only um, kind of um, incident that happens. 
But it seems like he's be able to walk it off. So yeah, it looks like he just got the wind knocked out of him. Looks like he'll be fine. He might just have to set out a couple plays. Yeah, he's not limping. That's good. Ooh. Oh. It must the be getting pretty slippery. slippery out there, yeah. Yeah, but um, I think uh, the Missoula County Stadium switched to turf in the last couple of years. Um, the grounds are really nice. I was yeah, it's so beautiful. That. Yeah, the M for Missoula County Stadiums. All high schools um, here in the Missoula County play here. It's definitely one of the nicer stadiums in, in the western state, for sure. Um if you're able to see it from um, our side of the field, like as you can see those bleachers at the other end of the field, it's not much to the imagination, but from this side of the field, concrete, um, built, really nice, and just really well-looking field for sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh, big throw. Oh! oh! Wasn't able to get his second hand on it. But he was able to get some good contact with that. That was number four, four for Sentinel High School. Greg Hellgate, Chambers. Right? For Hellgate. Yeah, I definitely have to give my props to uh, my camera crew out there weathering the storm. Um, Neil Wells, um, Rowan Lemus, and Austin Guier. Gu Austin Guzzi. <laughs> Guzzi. Wow, sorry, Austin. <laughs> But Austin's a trooper. <laughs> this is his first game running camera. Um, he's doing a, a fine, fabulous job. Yeah, everybody. Can't ask for anything more from these kids. No, I mean, if anything, everybody just needs to go down to their tire stores and get their, their winter tires on because it's about to snow any minute. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. Like, oh, man, that the weather just dipped like crazy. But it's good for fire in the fire. Um I did watch the. Uh, I do like watching the Lolo National Park uh, updates. See, <laughs> just gotta see how it's going. I noticed. Uh, Mike Ranger. Uh, oh, what's going on there? Oh, was oh. that a fumble? No, it looks like he kind of tripped up a little bit. Uh, ooh, Big Sky had the ball. Oh, it looks like Big Sky has possession. No, no, it was a pushback, so that was more of a blitz. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm just saw a guy going off on a tangent about the <laughs> the <laughs> fire. It's like, what? Oh, watch the game. <laughs> a nice, oh, nice wind up. Ooh, that was a good pretty, throw. Ooh, oh, nice catch so by number pretty. two for Big Sky Eagles, Jet Rebish. He even did a little back, you know, what was wow. that rollover? Huge throw. That was a really, really pretty, you know, pretty moment. 25-yard line, uh, first down, Big Sky Eagles. Big Sky oh, doing Big Sky what with a they nice know. carry. Oh. oh, that is a touchdown, Big Sky. Big Sky now leads at 45 to Hellgate's zero. Gosh, they know how to move the ball. All right, now they're going for the extra point. Um, looks like they're going to go for the kick. Oh, a little short for Big Sky. So Big Sky stands at 45 while Hellgate is at zero. Through, the, through, the, through this whole game, it seems like Big Sky has been able to make those touchdowns, but just not been able to uh, um, get
get too many of the extra points from what I've noticed in this game. Just one, I think. Yeah, I Maybe think they got two. 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 Yeah, because yeah, they did that um, repeat kick. Yep. So. Yeah, Hellgate's just been giving them way too many opportunities to run the ball. And with that beautiful throw, you know, you can't give uh, the quarterback any time to think. As no. soon as they have any time to think, they're on it. They got it. Every second counts. As soon as the ball goes into the quarterback's hands, it's it's just a matter. It's just basically a matter of time. Well, and you got to give it to Big Sky. Those two players. I mean, that was that was to have that perfectly type played. Of, yeah. Did we give a shout out to those players? Probably. Um. W yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was um Jet Rebish and um Levi Genicaro for the throw. Oh, nice catch, Hellgate. Um, nice receive. Nice return. Cool. I definitely like it as soon as the um, the nights the lights go up. Uh, definitely the footage looks beautiful. Looks really great on camera for sure, and you're able to see so clearly some of the players. We're shooting in HD here. Uh, Facebook doesn't allow anything higher than 720p. That's just some... <laughs> so that's technically high quality, but Facebook doesn't have the infrastructure for HD video quite yet. Mm. Well, it's pretty awesome to have these opportunities for kids in high school to have such a great field to play on and people covering it like this because it just means that they are more prepared to reach a higher level when they are done with high school. So it's great that our community supports that. All right, Jack, let's not get too carried away with the switching. <laughs> All right, about less than four minutes left in the third quarter. Um, the current time is 8.47. Looks like this game might be done fairly early. Ooh, nice push by Hellgate's line. Yeah, Hellgate's not going to go down without a fight. Yeah. I think at this point, um, um, let's see, uh, I got to check out my sheet again. Um, um, Mick Morris, um, head coach for Hellgate High School, probably just like, okay, we can't have let them have a blowout. Let's at least try to get a point in and see where we go from there. Because a lot of times it's all about momentum. Because as soon as you pass that threshold of the first down, looks like it's a good carry by Hellgate. But once you get past that first threshold, it, it, like the first point, it kind of seems like is always the hardest because it always kind of sets the tone of the game. I can see that. Yep. But I'm just honestly, I'm just making things up as I go. No, but I, it's I just true. I like to talk like I like to say words that just make sense, but. In all honesty, a lot of it's just my opinion, just saying. But I like to well, state it like it's a fact. It's like, <laughs> well, technically, well, actually, the thing is. It makes sense, though, because if you have a, a big goal, like trying to beat 45 points, it's way better to break it up into tinier goals. Just try to get out there and get one touchdown. Don't worry about all the rest of them. Right. All the rest is just noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> That's fact. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, it's a says no. by Scott Ramp, commentator for um, football, that I'm not honestly. Uh, I just don't watch too much football at all. Well, you do uh, now. <laughs> it's becoming your thing. <laughs> just watch you get picked up by like a college. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, it looks like the. Uh, at least I'm not like. Like, I, I know enough about football to talk through, and having this list of the players' names is really nice just to refer to them 
and just oh oh wow you see that slide that was a big slide from uh, big sky um but hellgate held on and was able to get some placement for sure mm -hmm. Yeah, don't cut yourself too short. You're in it. I see it. So here we go. Ooh, it's a big throw. Oh, oh! Missed the catch. That was number seventy-three with an incomplete catch. It almost looked like it slipped out of his hands. I couldn't tell if he was struggling, just hesitating, or if it just kind of was too slippery or something. That was uh, Majeric, Majaris. Uh, Majeric Minjaris. Yeah. Where's that number 77? That could have been uh, Matthew Cahoon. Oh. So close. That was one, one hand on it. Yeah, Burke McGowan got a little hand on that, but not quite enough to her catch. It's the fourth down. Looks like um, Hellgate is setting up for a punt. Yeah, I see the Big Sky team jumping up and down, trying to stay warm out there. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. nice catch by number two uh, for Big Sky, Jet Rebish. One of the, um, definitely the key players in this particular game against Hellgate. Yeah, definitely, uh, from what I noticed from the Eagles roster, I remember saying a lot of Jet Rebish, Levi, Genicaro, Caden Lati, all sorts of these names just um, basically are synonymous with a lot of uh, the Big Sky's victory, including uh, Tyler Flink, He's been, um, I've seen him get a bunch of interceptions uh, throughout different games and stuff like that. Um, and I think, who else? David Gibson. Yes, David Gibson is another key player on their team as well. Um, yeah, definitely uh, Matt Johnson uh, for Big Sky has a really good team on his hands for sure. If they're able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Sentinel for sure, then... Um, then they definitely are a, a big team um, Helge has to overcome later on in the years for sure. Oh, is that a fumble? Looks like it's still Big Sky's ball. With about 30 seconds left in the third quarter, um, Big Sky is on their second down. Nice throw to number two, Jet Rebish. Wow. Wow. He wasn't going to give up. Nope. Good defense by Hellgate, stopping him right then and there. Took two to take him down. There's a lot of chemistry between the players on Big Sky's team. 
they're definitely showcasing that tonight. Yeah. I mean, um, from what I saw from the uh, Hellgate's roster team as well, is that um, Gage Heron has have definitely has some good wheels. Uh, Luke Wilson did some a couple good plays as well. Um, it seems like there's a couple other plays players on here, like Greg Gardapi, who um, is a good player as well with um, Matthew Cahoon. They were some of the uh, um, more of the kind of players, but at the same time, they just says like, oh, they came out of this way and like, oh, I didn't expect to see that. Maybe some of those players should really um, get more of a chance to really show them what they've got, basically. Yeah, if they could, um, you know, maybe do drills to work together and team up in some ways to to come together with some plays on Hellgate between those those top players, then you know, joining forces, I have all the faith that they could, you know, have that t type of chemistry that we're seeing it with Big Sky. Yep. Oh yeah, some guy was just trying to sell us fifty fifty tickets. Oh. <laughs> I guess me saying um, no with my head wasn't good enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, they line up. There is a uh, big sky, Levi. Ooh. Nice hit by Hellgate. Not enough time for him to react for sure on that one. Can't help but notice that uh, Big Sky is practicing um, on the sidelines. Um, their players are staying warm and looks agile. Like, yep, looks like it's a turnaround, and Hellgate will be starting at the 49-yard line um, inside their own territory. Or is it? No, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, they d haven't changed the numbers on there. Huh. Yeah. Hell, yep, yeah, that's right. Hellgate has possession of the ball. I was relying too much on the scoreboard over there. It's like what? <laughs> All right, Gage Heron with a handoff. Oh wow, some good yardage for Hellgate. About a six-yard gain for Hellgate High School. I think that was a handoff to number 43, Luke Wilson for Hellgate. Second down and only about two, three yards left to go for the first down. Nice. Definite first down for um, Hellgate High School. Still He's pushing it through. It, yeah. Still pushing in it even after the play. We are on the fourth quarter. About 10 minutes left in this game. Nine minutes, actually, coming rounding up to nine minutes left of the game. Big Sky um, holding that 45, Hellgate zero. Hellgate is definitely looking to get in, the, get in that one point to avoid a blowout. Nice carry by number 43, Luke Wilson. I think that's the kind of momentum they need. They're just going to keep on handing it to Luke Wilson from yeah. Hellgate. I think maybe right now it would be interesting if they, if they did a fake and then uh, Gage were to run it because Gage has had some good runs during this game. He really has. Nope, oh, another handoff to Luke Wilson. Oh, is it? It looks like it might have been enough for a first down, but it's really close, so we'll have to see. 
Oh, looks like it's passed. Yep. First down, Hellgate. Congrats, Hellgate. A bit Mick Morris uh, for uh, Hellgate. Hellgate's coach is like saying, just, just, just give it to him. Just give it to Luke Wilson. We're good. Just give it to Luke. Oh, another handoff. Uh, Big Sky definitely saw that one coming. Is that a twenty ones uh, switching out? Let's see, with. 82 on Big Sky. But that was a two-yard gain for uh, Luke Wilson for Hellgate Knights. We have about seven minutes and ten seconds and counting on the rest of the game. If they don't watch out and switch it to another player here soon, Big Sky is going to start knowing what's going to happen next. <laughs> oh, nope. Looks like uh, – oh, Gage is running for it. Yeah, oh, he's going for it. That. He's going for it. Oh! Looks like it is a – Touchdown, yeah, Hellgate. Hellgate. <laughs> so they did it. You know, you got to hand it to him. Just when you're watching as a spectator and there's an underdog, you just want to at least give him one touchdown, you know? Good job, Hellgate. Yep. So now a Big Sky leads uh, 45 to 6. Um, Hellgate's definitely going to go for uh, the extra point. Hopefully this reminds them a little bit about what they can do. Hmm, it looks like they might be lining up for the two-point conversion. Yep. They're going to go for it. Oh! And it is good. That That's two more points for Hellgate. Um, Big Sky 45, Hellgate 8. To be honest, that was another surprise for me. Yep. I was not expecting that to, to go through. Good job, Hellgate. Yep. They just found that window and they just went right for it. Yeah, and, you know, like we were talking about, Hellgate's been really good at surprising us. Yeah. I mean, they come out of nowhere and suddenly, you know, pull off something that um, that they we were hoping for them to do. So look at that. And I'm just counting how many seniors are on their team. It looks like they have a majority of sophomores and juniors on their team. So I'm I'm guaranteed by next year Hellgate will be a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, this is like the first uh, year they're able to be varsity because last year they didn't have a varsity team. They were demoted. I guess I don't want, I guess demoted is a little uh, harsh, but that's just uh, the MCPS decided to be like, okay, we don't have enough big players. We'll just um, basically – let out a little bit and just say JV for a year and see how it goes from there. And from there, I think it was a, a kind of a wake-up call just to kind of see. I was like, okay, let's start using this as an opportunity to basically have a, a good practice year. And Hellgate did really well in their JV year, according to um, Mick Morris, head coach Hellgate, and that they're able to do um, a nice little spin on that kick. Good return. Oh, nice tackle by Hellgate. Yeah, there's a boost in morale you can tell on the field. Yep. Let's see if uh, Hellgate can um, use some of that uh, goodwill towards uh, another point before the game. About five, hundred, five and a half minutes left in the game. Big Sky leads 45. Ooh, there's a flag on the play. Uh, looks like it was a false start on the offense. Nope. Well, that was on Hellgate, so that's a five-yard gain. Still first down, Big Sky. Well, and the last time we saw um, Hellgate do a cool surprise, um, oh. the excitement got in the air, and um, they ended up getting intercepted. So I just hope that they can, you know, that was a handoff to number 44, uh, Hunter Dutton, for Big Sky High School for the carry. Nice. Yeah, hopefully they can just kind of keep keep the excitement levels functional so they can keep uh, plowing ahead. And, and um, yeah, we want to just... 
see them continue to to work forward. Another handoff to Big Sky, 32, but ooh. I think that they didn't gain any yardage on that one. To number thir 32 for Big Sky is Tyler Flink. He is a senior, 5'11", 203 pounds. Oh, another handoff for Big Sky. That's number 44 for Big Sky, Hunter Dutton. Looks like they're going to be uh, giving it to Hunter Dutton, and he's been having some good carries for Big Sky for sure. But I think um, I think Big Sky is using this opportunity for their uh, wide lead against Hellgate to kind of uh, check out some of their other players and how they play well with the other team and see how they uh, improve their chemistry. This is the kind of thing that uh, a lot of uh, teams do towards the end, especially if they're at a, had at a fairly wide margin. A lot of times they like to try out some of their greener um, players on their teams. Oh, nice catch and carry by number seven, Ben Mall. First down, Big Sky. And we're about two and a half, we're coming around to two and a half minutes left in the game. Big Sky leads 45 to Hellgate zero. And looks like they're uh, lining up for the next play. Looks like that was about a three or four yard carry for Big Sky. Slow and steady push down the field. All right, so they're uh, lining up for the next play. Nice little handoff to number 44. Oh, wow, nice. Be able to get through that pocket. Oh, and then he ran off, out of, um, off, um, off of boundaries um, at the 19-yard line. First down, Big Sky. Number 44, definitely um, Hunter Dutton. They're definitely giving him the ball a lot. And he's been taking the ball very well and moving it very eff um, efficiently. Yes, he has. Wow. So the clock is running, and it is about a minute 10. Oh, wait. Nice throw. But nice pushback by Hellgate. Looks like it's going to be a loss in yardage. Ooh, oh. Injury? Number two. He's shaking it off. Jet Rebish. Looks like he's just shaking off real quickly. Oh. Ooh. Nope. He's switching out Num for number 28. Jacob Bunch. Jet Rebish definitely played a lot of this game today for sure. Wow. Nice carry by Big Sky. Oh, wow. Looks like hell, this, um, the Knights are surrounding him pretty effectively. Yeah, he drove through the center with a lot of 30 force 30 seconds there. left on the clock. It looks like this game is about over. And I think at this point, Big Sky is going to see if they can either go for the point or they're going to just take a knee for this because they are um, in the perfect position to just take a knee and basically end the game right here. It looks like they are. And this game is about over. Three, two, one. And that's the game. Big Sky, 45, Hellgate, 8. What a great game. It was a great game. 
Uh, there was a lot of, of improvement with Hellgate and Absolutely. come towards the end. It's good that they were able to get the point at the last minute, even the two-point conversion. Because a lot of times it's like going for the two-point conversion is always a bit of a – it's most of a bet. It's, it's, it's quite, a, quite a bet. But definitely um, a good hometown uh, rivalry game between Hellgate and Big Sky. Um, I don't know. There's uh, not much to say. I, I, you know, it's a, it's a great game. Uh, these uh, guys did a lot of good, uh, a lot of good job, and I'm excited to see um, what happens next for Hellgate's football team. There is a lot of juniors and um, sophomores um, on the team, so definitely be excited for the next uh, year or so to see Hellgate improve greatly. And what a great example Big Sky gave, um, just showing how the chemistry between their their uh, leading players, just you know the teamwork and um, just a pretty consistent um, game for Big Sky. Um, it's nice to watch, you know, uh, a team that's able to have that type of consistency, especially at this level. Yep. But I want to thank all my crew for helping out. I want to thank uh, Johanna for helping as well. Um, I'm Scott Ramph. And I'm Johanna Champa. Um, we got Jack Catmull on um, the switcher. We had Neil Wells. We had Austin uh, Guzier, and we had um, uh, Rowan Lemus, Neil Wells. Um, thank you all for joining us. We'll be here next Friday, but also we're doing a volleyball game next Tuesday as well. Um, we'll have some other commentators maybe next week. Who knows? So uh, stay with us, and thanks for joining us. Thank you.